The year is 2050, and the megaplexes are monsters casting long shadows. When you become a shadow runner, that's where you live. In the cracks between the giant corporate structures. The megacorps are powerful in a time where power means information. Computer information flowing in the global network called the Matrix. In 2050, Seattle. Where magic that has once lain dormant has now once again erupted onto the global scene. Embark on a journey into an adventure where darkness, ghouls, elves, orcs, and other nasties are all waiting for you. Vie for information and try to survive in this harsh new world. Welcome to Shadowrun. This is our hero, Jake Armitage, courier, contracted with some unknown task, and taken out by a squad of hitmen. However, shortly before his untimely demise, he was saved at the behest of an unknown entity. This mysterious Kitsune, having just saved Jake's life, departs for parts unknown. And now our hero, having no idea where he is or what has happened, must embark on the ultimate shadow run. And here we are again in the car yards. Oh boy. What? Oh shit, walked off screen. That screen trigger is way too close. This damn barrel every time, I tell you. Okay, so, uh, let's see here. I've got a bunch of uh, slap patches, and I'm going to Go and uh, do what I can in the arena. Um, I haven't quite hit up against the wall yet, but I'm about to. Okay. So this guy isn't too bad, but I will need to heal halfway through the fight at some point. Um, I've also not upgraded my health. I've still only got 30 hit points that I started with. And uh, yeah, like... It's important that I uh, try to stay healthy, because uh, there are enemies later on that will shred my health in an instant. But so far, keep on running, boy! You're out of your lead. So far, I should be able to really stay ahead of the competition here. That wouldn't do bad. Good fighter, five thousand new yen. Hell yeah! Whole oh, baby. Okay, so once again, same old, same old. You know. Reheal, restock. Um, I can get maybe two thirds of the way through the arena. There is a point where there are just no more uh, options to fight. But at least for now, uh, I can still make a little bit of headway. Uh, the new yen you earn here is just invaluable. Get more of them slappy patches. Because those are the only thing keeping me alive at this point. Uh, let's see here. Heal. So I only use, what, two? That should do. Okay. Alright. Let's fight. Oh god, it's this guy, the gang leader. Yeah, he will absolutely destroy me. I'm not going to be able to, to heal and keep up with the damage he'll deal just using slap patches. Like, I'm actually out of my league. I didn't realize I'd be up against him next. Yeah, he can run and gun, and he's like one of the few enemies in the game that can do that. Most everybody, including you, have to stay perfectly still to even have a chance at hitting an enemy. But this guy is just an absolute asshole and can just do that. And he will always outpace me. So I need better armor and better weapons. And yeah, this is what happens when you die. Very sad. But hey, you know. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can do this just a little bit better. So obviously that's kind of my cue to just 
push on. Gotta restart. There we go. So yeah, um, probably not a good idea to go fight that guy again, considering we just cannot do it. But that's okay. Oh shit, I hit the damn wall trigger again. I wish they hadn't put that at the bottom there. And that barrel in front of the open entrance. Okay, so let's uh, shore up our slap patches again. Or no, never mind. I think instead, we'll just straight up go and get better stuff. So this is Old Town. That's where the car yards are held. And uh, currently, we can run in here into the Sputnik Club. And there's a nice Shadow Runner here that is both cheap. Not this guy. Uh, show me, uh, show you your wallet. I'll show you a man with 20 fingers. You don't mind me? Just try me. Budge, Tumor, I can only stand a breeder for so long. Breeders? What the fuck does that mean? Okay, well, clearly he ain't nothing. Ah, there's Vivian's gun shop around the corner. If you're looking for something not quite so legal, you won't find it around here. So that means there's some place to get some illegal weapons later. We will need that. Hiring Shadowrunners? Nope. He ain't none of that. What's this guy know? Happy customer. He must be drunk. How's you going, kid? You look like you need some refreshment. It looks like you need a shot, too. I'll have whatever you're having. Well, uh, do you know about Drake? I look like an encyclopedia. Magic fetish? Uh, Shadowrunners? Hiring them isn't cheap, but if you need the extra muscle or expertise, that's all you want. Uh-huh. Well, this guy, this large orc. What are you looking at, Drakehead? You want Orifice to fix your face? And uh, you don't see your gender in? I don't know what you're all cocky about. It depends, but 500 new yen. Well, 500 new yen, huh? That's easy. Uh, let's maneuver him out of the way and talk to the customers here. See what they know. You don't look too healthy. You should maybe see a street doc. You look like you've been through a lot. Street doc. You know one around? Ed's is around the corner, I guess. He's okay. Fix my data jack when I had trouble. I uh, couldn't help you there. Well, Ed's street doc is just around the corner. Hmm. And Vivian's gun shop is also just around the corner. So why not let's go see what we can get our hands on. We've got a lot of new yen burning a hole in our pockets, so... Let's find out. Oh, shit. Orifice. Damn, he just killed that that one dude shooting at us. It's pretty good. I'll check down that alleyway here in a second to the uh, right. But first, let's see what we can get up here. Uh, okay, so that's the party status screen. That's a screen I will be checking quite a bit. Hmm. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that looked like kanji up there, but I don't think it is. Ah, well, let's see what we got here. A mesh wire jacket for 5k. Uh, yes, let's buy that mesh wire jacket because that is a better piece of armor than I have. The Defiance T250 shotgun for 15k. With the Shetty Light Security pistol for 2k. Ares Viper long range pistol for 4k. The Bulletzer's finest grenades for 100 apiece. The Colt American L36 pistol, which is probably inferior to what I have. And the Ruger Warhawk heavy pistol, which I will take. Now, we got a better armor and a better piece of firing arms. Once again, I fumble around in the systems trying to get everything fixed. Let's uh, use that. And give us a nice new mesh jacket. There we go. We got a whopping two defense points now. Wow. Me, oh my. How, how very useful. Uh, the security pistol's not worth it. What about the dwarf? What's he got? Guns, guns, guns. Yeah, <laughs> You want to buy this own gun? Go, oh, goodbye. As the owner's a uh, good friend of mine. Yeah, it cost you a good New Year. Two little puppy dogs. Well, what about New Year? Ah, come on, lad. Let's set our hair on fire. Wow, this guy's insane. Uh, what about uh, the Shadow Runners or, or Magic Fetish? No? Yeah, no shit. Of course, he's more concerned with his hair being on fire than information. So, whatever. Let's see who this is. Ooh, an Indian shaman. Ooh, welcome. My talisman is many. My shop has many talismans for you to empower your magic. You need most anything to give your magic power. Magic. What about talisman? The shaman. You need my talisman to cast magic. Number is four one six eight two two. If you need help, it's very evil. I deal. I used to deal in such item, but they're very hard to come by. I sell them no more. 
What about Drake? Do you know anything about that? No. Hmm. The magic fetish is evil, he says. Shaman can find most anything needs to get power to his spells. If I do not have it, then you best find your another way to seek it. Really? Okay, well, what do you sell? A blue and purple bottle for 3k? That's not too bad. A black bottle for 6k? Ouch. And a sharp wooden stake? It looks new for 2.5. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm going to need all these. There's nothing in here. And really nothing elsewhere. Oh, the talisman shop. That might be something I might have to hit up someday. We'll bear this place in mind and carry on and see where this um, street dock guy happens to be. Any bits or loose ends we can find are definitely... Get out of the way, lady. Definitely something worth investigating. Oh! Damn, that just shot at us and then immediately got destroyed by a good old orifice here. Man, orifice is a house. Jake, uh, oh, he doesn't want to go in there. Okay. How's it going there? Welcome to Ed's Patch and Fix. Come on in, come on in. Don't let a small problem turn into a big one. Let Ed's Patch and Fix help. You look pretty beat up. You want me to look at anything? Well, if you're having trouble getting into the Matrix, that could be a problem. I could do a quick examination for 500 new yen. Okay. That's, that seems reasonable. Sure, sure. Hop up on the table. It's just 500 new yen there. Let me find a needle now when not too rusty. <laughs> just kidding. Really? Okay. Well, we did have problems with our data jack earlier, so this may actually help us. Huh? Oops! Oops, what do you mean, oops? What's the loud ticking noise? Uh, oh dear. Um, a cortex bomb, I think. What? The fuck? Jake, the problem seems to be in your head computer. There's a cortex bomb attached to it. Um, it's designed to destroy anything stored in your head and in your head computer if it's tampered with. I think it started ticking, and if it goes off, it's likely to take a good portion of your head along with it. Sorry, here's a refund. Try some aspirin. I don't think I can help you. What the fuck? Well, who does know? I don't think I should mess around with it anymore. You best find yourself another street doc. W what other street doc? Who? Uh, do you know one? The only guy I know who may be able to help is Dr. Maplethorpe. He's expensive, though. You should save your money for a good funeral. What the fuck? You tinker in my head? You set off a bomb and say good luck? Have fun? I'm outie. Good thing he gave us a refund. I'd rather shoot him in the head, though. Let him know how it feels. Christ on a cracker. What kind of service is that? Holy shit. Come on, Orifice. Let's find Dr. Maplethorpe, wherever the hell that is. And then Orifice does his job, so at least we got that going for us. I tell you, I don't know what the hell to think. I feel like half the city is, like, strung together with duct tape and chewing gum. Uh, let's take this, the monorail. It's not quite the subway. I almost said subway. Yeah, let's take the monorail back to uh, the section of town we just came... Well, wait, no, that's right. No, there was no Dr. Maplethorpe in the older section of town we came from originally, from before the car yard. So we gotta, gotta explore up this way and find a Dr. Maplethorpe. Let's find if we can get there. Oh god, 29 hours before the cortex bomb goes off. So, uh, the little indicator there saying X many hours before the bomb goes off, yeah, that can directly be translated into minutes. From the moment Ed fools with the cortex bomb in your head, you have exactly 30 minutes to find Dr. Maplethorpe. Because then we came to the Daily Station. This is Uptown. Oh god, and right off the bat, we're in a fight with some orcs. Come on, Hamfist, or uh, Orifice. Not Hamfist, Orifice is a different orc. Are you swine? Drek, you brought more trouble, and you know the rest to let us all be finished the job. Ah, bye, sucker. He did. Well, that's unfortunate. Who the fuck are the rust stilettos, and why do they suddenly want me dead? That didn't sound good. Oh, an old key. I bet that's valuable. And a dog? It couldn't be. Dog calls you. Seek him soon, or you will be lost. <laughs> oh, 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 come back, doggy. I want to know more. Hey, don't just vanish. Okay. Well, at any rate, ooh, try to snipe me, will ya? Pow, 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 bitch. I got a nicer, uh, nicer pistol than I have had. 
50 new yen, that ain't too bad. It's, um, maybe enough. I have enough money for Dr. Maplethorpe, if he's supposedly as expensive as, uh, Ed's patch and fix says. God, three of them back to back. Bowza. Let's just get rid of these guys. Maybe that'd be the end of them. Ouchie. What in the hell is that in the road? 28 hours. Oh, God, we've got 28 minutes. Oh, it's a grenade. Hey. Hmm. No, no, I don't want to examine orifice. I want to try to pick up this grenade. It might be valuable. The pin has been pulled out. Never mind. Um, oh, fuck. Well, I was going to try to throw it elsewhere, but whatever. Jake, I don't want to go in there. I'll wait outside. This is the Wastelands. Hey, wait a sec. That sounds familiar. Hey, you. This orc? I think he recognizes me. Killed him. All right. Give me your money, fool. Fitty New Year. Another decent little haul, but not great. Mm, the Wastelands. That sounds familiar. Where have I seen that name before? Maybe someone here will recognize me. Come on. There we go. Dancing hippie. What? Uh, well-dressed dancing lady? No. What? Nothing. Hmm. Orc. Just because I'm an orc doesn't mean I'm dumb. When you run in the shadows as long as I have, you get smart or die. Just because I'm smart doesn't mean I'm no public library. Oh, God. Okay, well, what about the rust stilettos? They're holding up some piece of turf over by the slums. Rumor is they're working for someone big now. I worked for Drake once. You want to take Dra out Drake, you're going to need Deckers. You're going to need magic. Really? Drake is big. I see. What about Shadowrunners? Money holds great power, especially when you give it to me. Just show me where you want the holes. <laughs> so that means you're hiring? Uh, can I negotiate? Uh, well, what are you running for? You want us to go run in the shadows and look at this hardware, bub? I over got overhead. You can't recycle grenade, you know? Let's start it at 1,500 new yen. What do you say? Mm, I don't know yet. What about this guy? What's he offering? Got the small talk and let's get down to business. The name's Anders and you need a hired gun? I'm ready for action. Talk is cheap. Hiring me isn't. You get what you pay for, though. Time is money. Although I might just hurt you for free. God, everybody here is so hostile and on edge. All right, Anders, uh, what, what do you know about Shadowrunners? I only work with the best. Runners like Steel Flight and Akimi, they deserve, deliver the goods. Mm -hmm. Akimi, she may be way out of your league, Chummer. Very expensive. Your price won't send your cold. Her attitude will. Okay. So Akimi is someone to look out for, huh? Good deckers, especially for an elf. He isn't cheap, though. You'll find him at the Jagged Nails. That place is strictly for Shadowrunners only, though. So I gotta become a Shadowrunner, huh? The Jagged Nails. Mm. Lots of places and lots of ends to check now. What about a good street doc? You know that? No. Time is money and he wants to hurt me. Okay, well, Anders, I'm not that interested. Okay. I once heard better bands. I even heard Mercur Mer Maria Mercurio play. I have a data jag. Is that thing for show? I don't know something about you. Why would I tell you? Okay, what, a, what about um, Drake? Bad news. Only tough. Touch them if they have a death wish. They're working on something big, and they'll geek anyone getting in their way. Oh, man. So apparently Drake is somebody ferocious. Like the Rust Stilettos, the other street gangs are still feeling the squeeze. Stilettos have money behind them from somewhere. Big guns and no brains make them a deadly combination. So the Stilettos are being used as pawns. Hmm. Very interesting turn of events. What about this guy, the club manager? Hey. Yo, man, what's been happening? You've been underground lately. What say, man? What a bummer. I want an iced tea. You hold the ice. I have to hold that ice, though. Sorry, no ice. The freezer's on a fritz. We're waiting for a delivery. Okay. You don't know anything about anything. That's like nothing I can help you with, man. Yeah, nothing. All kinds hang out here. Mercs, mages, deckers. If you got the money, then no problem. Hmm. Uh, I don't have nothing to help you, man. So he doesn't know anything about a street dock. Okay. The Matchbox has the Wastelands Club logo on the back. So that's where I was hanging out originally. So before I got attacked, I must have come here first. Hmm. 27 hours before the Cortex Bomb goes off. Oh, God. Okay, well, um, hmm, shit. Oh, the midget in the corner. I didn't check him. Who is he? The one with the red cap on his head. He might have some info. Who is this dude? 
Yeah, him. A dwarf. Sure, I'm insane, but I'm for hire. You gotta be crazy in this world, you know? <laughs> for 2,000 up front, I'm gonna convert it to cash. New crisp bills. Nope, never heard of it. <laughs> okay, so he doesn't know anything about the typical stuff. What about the rust stilettos? Never heard of them either. The rest are a bunch of wimps like that jet boy. Well, he'll tell you he's fast in the Matrix, but you should see him run when the heat's turned up. Stick with me, nobody's better. Okay. So... Not sure I want to hire this guy. The other dude up there, though... Ah, oh, damn it, I got caught on the beam. The other dude up there did say he was only 1,500. Might have to consider by hiring another runner. These rust stilettos people are going to be a problem. I'm going to need muscle to take them out. I have a feeling they're not going to let me leave without at least a little bit of, um... bit of an introduction. Oh, shit. But before we do that, there's more of the, uh, uptown area to explore. Specifically, the, uh, place east of here. Or places east of here and south of here. Oh, hey! Whoa, holy shit. That dude nearly got ran over. Hey, this is the, uh... This is the very intersection where Jake got attacked. Wow. 26 hours. That must have been, like, right after, uh... Jake left the uh, Wastelands Club. Damn. Hmm. Okay, then. That means we're probably on the right track. This is where that fox girl helped us, too. God, more assassins. God, they're just everywhere, aren't they? Damn. Oh, well. Oh, one last thing I should probably try to do is, um... Go around the corner here. Well, first, see if this guy knows anything. What do you want, punk? I'm in a hurry. I've got business to attend to. You look for some kind of donation? Uh, no, I just want some information. Uh, anything you got on a street dock? Give it the office. Uh, gave it the office. I think that means something to the effect of, uh, an office donation, charity, something or another. Not re relevant to us. Not terribly helpful either. But whatever. Uh, here, this little building right here is a hotel. Which, thankfully, for a mere 50 new yen, we can just very quickly uh, rent a hotel room. That doorknob's a bit tricky sometimes. You need a little muscle. You didn't want to fall in. We can quickly heal up. And this should pretty well get us underway. You cannot save the game with the Cortex Bomb active. So, unfortunately, that means we're kind of sort of boned. So we can get this bomb out of our head anyway. But we're actually not too far away from that objective, so may as well go around the corner a bit, explore a tiny bit more. We've still got a, mi a few minutes to, to worry about. Now this building over here is important. That's the Jagged Nails. Some very important things will happen in there. Ooh, only a mere 25 hours. God, time flies. Let's uh, talk to this cruel man. You don't look like a regular bub. The jacket and nails is for Shadowrunners only. Sorry, I can't help you tonight. You need 50 new yen and a good rep before you get grace inside these walls. Look, Bob, you don't back off, I'll bounce you right out of Seattle. Okay, well, you know anything about Drake? No? Shit. Uh, the uh, Shadowrunners. Yeah, the Ascender obviously ain't one. Okay, well, I guess we obviously ain't one. Whatever, he's not gonna give me the time of day, no more or less than anyone else. Then I guess the only thing left to do from here would probably be to visit the other side of town that we haven't quite yet worked our way around to. There are quite a few streets that have just never been touched. Oh, Warfus is at it again, it seems. Oh, I must have accidentally hit the wrong key there. Ah, there we go, took care of him. So just up this way is a bustling little market full of people who have absolutely nothing to say. Very sad. Kind of hoped they would, but unfortunately they just don't really care. Ah well, at any rate, let's quickly cross this street before the fucking car runs us over. People in Seattle certainly don't give a shit. Oh, hitman in the tree in the grass. What a weird place to hide out to hit someone. You 
think they've just run out on the street or run, duck out from behind a, a corner or something. I don't know. Ooh, 24 hours, so we only have 24 minutes left. Ah, here we are. This office complex right here. Look at these snipers. Those hitmen. This whole area is just jam-packed. Like, holy crap. I, I can't go five feet without a bajillion hitmen trying to take me out. There we go. Okay, oh man, Orifice is getting low. Let's try to find that Nuyen. It's time for me to leave, Jake. I've earned my money. Oh god, now we're alone. Well, goodbye, Orifice. You were, uh, helpful. Let's talk to the secretary. Welcome, how can I help you? Mr. Maplethorpe's quite a busy man. Is there anything specific new? Oh no, I'll get the doctor right away. He charges 2,000 Nuyen, though. Open up the door for you. Okay, okay. Come on in, Jake. How does he know us? Nice to meet you, Jake. I hear you have a problem with your hair. Is that so? Could you be a bit more specific? Yeah, it's a cortex bomb. Yes, nasty. Get up on the table here and I will disarm it immediately. Uh, but do you know anything about the rust stilettos? Irrelevant. Stick to the facts, Jake. Alright, well, let's get this bomb out. This won't hurt a bit. There we are. Once I'm finished here, Jake, maybe you can take a look at the cyberware I have for sale. Ooh, cyberware. Now then, Jake, I've managed to remove the Cortex bomb. It seems to have been fitted to protect your head computer. Whatever's stored in there must be valuable. The data in your head computer looks like some bio storage craft. I couldn't quite access it with my equipment. The Maker's Matrix Systems, a little outfit over by the bay. Hmm, Matrix Systems. Interesting. What about that cyberware? It's over there on the bench. Have a look. The prices are very reasonable. I'm afraid I can't access it. You'll have to find someone who knows what's in there and how to get it out. There's something valuable in my head computer. Mm. Jake, I have other work to do. Okay, well, I guess, uh, there's probably not much more info I can get out of the guy. Heal. Ah, that's right. He also sells some slap patches. That might be helpful, yes. I should probably get a few more of those. Heal me. So that's two... Okay, that's enough. So I have all six that I can carry now. That's good. Okay, uh, know about Matrix systems? I know very little about them, except their work mainly revolves around software for the Matrix. Huh. Wouldn't happen to relate to the rest stilettos in any way, would they? No. Well, I guess since this guy has a lot of other work to do, and doesn't know much of anything else, may as well let him get to it. On the other hand, we've got... Let's see here. Boosted reflexes. What's that? doesn't really give me much of a description. These neural boosters are popular at the moment. They are not cheap. You want to buy them for 15000 Holy shit. Not enough money. Skill software. Ah, skill software. Not a bad choice if you want to improve your leadership skills for a low 3000 new yen. Ouch. Man, I've just barely got that, too. Yai. What's over in here? These fridges. Mm, nothing. Yeah, they're all, they all seem to be empty. Just on the off chance something valuable's in them. Oh, can't, it, can't open it with being on top of me. Nothing. Well, I guess that is the way the ball bounces. They're, uh, they're not going to leave anything for a random patient to just grab out of their fridge, so... Oh, well. We've managed to make it out alive. Oh my god, there are like 15 hitmen on that wall. I am out. Let's get a slap patch on our ass and yeet. Oh god, get me out of here. Jesus, I'm a sitting duck. Without a shadow runner by my side, I'm actually far more vulnerable than you realize. Nope, 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 nope. Oh god, let's heal up real quick. I think I can take one of them out. If it's just one on one, that's not much trouble. But when there are literally five of them shooting at you at once, it's it's a death sentence to stay out in the open. I'm also not going up to the, the northern part up there. That uh, that area up there is very dangerous. This area up here to the east, though, or to the west, sorry. Ah, uh, there's nothing over here, okay. I was just making sure I can't go up through this tunnel or through this area. No telling where this road leads, but um, unfortunately the game doesn't let you go that way. And also the cars are really fucking dangerous. Jesus, I nearly got ran over. I can't afford to take a health 
in uh, penalty right now. I'm going to be sauntering through some very dangerous parts of town here. Let's get rid of that peephole. That peepee hole. There we go. What's over in here? Oh, another peepee hole. Oh, and a gang leader. Oh, God, that guy's tough. He throws literal uh, Molotov cocktails at you. Not exactly a uh, nice greeting, but somehow very Seattle 2050. See if I can't take this guy out. God, I'm not hitting him at all, and he's doing way more damage to me. I'm out. Fuck that noise. That guy's like, a, uh, at this point in time, he's like a mini-boss. Oh, time to apply another slap patch. Yeah, my armor and my health are just not terribly good. So I'm gonna take a beating from literally everything under the sun. I can at least kill the people. The problem is, I can't move once I'm shooting. And I can't afford to stay in one place because he'll chip away my health so, so bad. Maybe I can, like, juke him just enough. No, I guess not. I don't know. Yeah, not worth it. Not worth it. I mean, that's... wow. I've wasted, like, five slap patches in the last second. Or the last minute. Sunk cost fallacy, ahoy! Six, goddammit. Okay, so maybe if I get up close, he'll use his melee attacks. Yeah, that works. So they all got a claw thing that will they'll use to attack you with instead of the uh, Molotovs. Claw doesn't deal as much damage. I would rather I think it's, it's an I guess it's a knife, I don't know. But I'd rather be hit with that than anything else. Only one other really interesting part of town is this next section up here. Uh, this is a road that leads to the docks and a building with the name Drake on it. Oh, I, can't, I don't have a line of sight to this hitman. See if I can't take him out better than he can take me out. Yeah, if they can sh see you, if they can shoot you, you can shoot them, but their AI will always shoot you before you can effectively shoot them. Now, this building with Drake on it, that's some, uh, that's some sus stuff, ain't it? Got it. Okay. So now that everything is a little bit calm... Calm down a bit. Why is there a building with Drake on it? You reckon this is not actually... Drake is not just a person, but a corporation? That's very interesting. Ooh, a mage guarding the front door. I bet they all want me. Probably something to do with um, whatever this hit Drake has out on me. I reckon this is probably the best place to figure out exactly where it is I need to go. Ah, he does not go down easily. Hell, my aim doesn't exactly help things either. Oh man, let's use the last one. Final slap patch. We'll slap this guy silly. Come on, die. Drop. Fuck it, let's get close. I don't know if distance actually factors into killing or fighting. But like... Uh, well, there we go. Finally downed him. I got, uh, 70 million. Not, not too bad. Now then, uh, since Dr. Maplethorpe was so kind as to remove the bomb and my data jack can now function properly, we can probably actually jack into this computer. Yeah, there we go. Drake HQ, logging all activity, local network patch, ice active. Uh, Drake Towers, Drake Volcano, transferring control now. Hmm. Condition. Okay. Password needed. Damn. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look like we're getting anywhere, so uh, we'll just have to jack out for now. Jack out and jack on off to another place. Oh, well. Such is life. Not all doors lead to uh, places we can go yet, but that's okay. Uh, let's see now. This street should take us back to the intersection where Jake got geeked. Uh, yeah, right here. The intersection where the assassins 
pulled up and fired on him. God damn, I'm getting hit from all sides. It ain't easy being me. But I think I'm gonna rest up here one last time. Darn music. The Shadowrunner types blasting away at all hours of the night. <laughs> Poor hotel manager is just bothered by the randos that have to uh, take up residence in his hotel. Okay, now we can actually properly save the game and spend all this nice juicy karma. Um, I'm thinking of updating my firearms, but I don't know. Nah, body needs it more than anything else, so I think we'll go for that. My first body upgrades in the game. Now my health bar is a little bit larger and a little bit redder. So it's not too bad overall. A uh, pretty even trade. Oh shit. Get a hit again. Whenever I come out of a door and there are like three or four hitmen waiting for me, I always kind of like press the wrong button out of panic. Shoot the people. Shoot him in his pee pee. Okay. So the only thing I can think of next is to go up to the street where that grenade was, but. Unfortunately, that, uh, that Rust Stilettos gang up that way owns the streets themselves. They're not too kind to visitors, so we're going to need more muscle before we consider actually fighting our way through their base. Oh, there's another hitman. See if I can't take him out. No. Gotta get out of cover. There we go. Those guys go down way easier than some of the others around this place. I've noticed ever since we got to uh, Uptown, uh, not only has this really sexy beat been playing, but um, a very unfortunate power curve has presented itself. All the hitmen around here are three or four times beefier than all the other hitmen elsewhere. So that's a problem. Yeah, I can't challenge the uh, the rust stilettos. Not not like this. I gotta get more slap patches. I gotta get <sighs> maybe it. Well, no, I can't even really get a better gun. I don't have a, a good source of money, and everything costs thousands and thousands of nuyen now. So the only thing I can think of reasonably would be rehiring Hamfist or Orifus. So as we close on out here, we're gonna hop on the train like that. And we're gonna ride on off to the older part of town. Once more. Love the little tram monorail ride. And that'll be it for today. I will catch you all next time for more Shadowrun. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.